Hello everybody, Legally Cute is back. I am your host, Cutie Room SR, and I am bringing you some more adorable cute indie full games tonight. We have two great games running with the Fantastic Speedrunner and commentary. We have our Calico as well as our Rancher Slime, or Slime Rancher, sorry, Slime Rancher. But basically with these two games, uh, we're going to start with Calico first, and I would love to introduce our runner and commentary who are going to be a part of this show. I know that with our Hotfix regular Raider, Clockwork Ophelia, who is our runner, and then we are having our Hotfix moderator, J.O. as our commentary. And whenever you are ready to uh, take it away, let us know, but say hi, Clockwork Ophelia and Jay. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> I wouldn't raid so much if you didn't make such good content. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the idea of being the raider because of Tomb Raider personally. So <laughs> I think being the raider is awesome. Um, and also being our like our mod is really, really, mm -hmm. I think it's great. Um, I am looking forward to showcasing Calico. This is definitely the first time I've ever seen this game and I'm already loving what I'm seeing. So whenever you are ready to start the run, let us know. But also I know we're going to have some fun with the character creator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So first we're going to actually start off because uh, Calico is a wonderful little indie game that was crowdfunded. Uh, it started off with two base characters and they were able to reach their goal of creating this wonderfully inclusive uh, character creator that we're gonna show off today. And we're gonna go with, I can't type. Cuties, I can't type. <laughs> I can't type, it's fine. Letters are hard. Letters yes. are hard. <laughs> so uh, we will be starting our new life, running a cat cafe. And we've got to pick how we're going to look. We're gonna start with the fact that we have one of the, in my opinion, better ways to pick any of your colors. You can go on your RGB, you can enter in a code. We've got some easy presets down here. Um, we have different animations. We've got this lovely Skippy-Doo, another Skippy-Doo, uh, but I always choose this run. Um, <laughs> I know chat, why. My chat Extremely argues Extremely powerful. Me. My chat argues with me. This is not the most fast run. Uh, they're wrong. It's the fastest <laughs> run. Anyways, uh, we have sliders for our character creator here, which allows us to do a lot. We can broaden our shoulders. We can, you know, change our bust, our waist, our bottom, and add a little bit of fluff which is honestly really nice. This is one of the things that I really enjoy with this character creator is how inclusive it is. And we are going, um, Rue, your eyes are brown, correct? No, they no. are green. They're green? Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Would you like hard eyes? Yes. <laughs> Okay. I love it. Oh, here, um, lipstick, glossy or matte? Ooh, okay. I've been into the matte lately, so I'll say right? matte. It's a good look. It's a good look. Um, let's go with a nice vampy color. Ooh, yes, I like that. yes, I like that too. I love that. Okay, and we've got to go with some accessories here. So I know you've got some freckles. I do a little bit. A little bit of freckles. <laughs> um. How whimsical are you feeling tonight? Ooh, um, I ve I am very whimsical. I'm in a very happy, very happy, joyful, very okay. yep. Then let's go with. That's a personal friend. I like this kind of look. I do too. I love okay. it. We also, you know, we have other things we can add: glasses, facial hair. You can change around with your mouth shape and size, how much your lips are plumped out. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, it's a wonderfully 
inclusive character creator. Uh, one of the things that's honestly really great is from the beginning, we have the ability to give our character a job if we wanted to. Um, oh, wow. That works best. This is one of those games where you could spend all day in the character creator. I have. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that plenty of times with others too. Uh, oh, no, it's, I did that wrong, Gradient. Um, and one of my favorite things is the fact that we have this, that's kind of a blondie. We have this, um, ooh, okay. You're not going the way you normally do for me. I can do my hair fairly easily, and I don't know why it's not working well for me here. <laughs> it's all good. Um, um, there it is. There I it is. Colors okay. backwards. It's one where it doesn't always make sense, but you can make yourself look pretty heckin' cute in this. Uh, we've I also got love it. Right? I'm. Oh, this is really so cute. cute. Um, what color shirt we feeling? Um. Let's go with green. I, I, green. Teal's my favorite color, technically teal? speaking. Yeah. Oh, that's for yeah. That's there perfect. we go. And we only start with one base outfit, but that's because from the beginning we have the ability to just go and buy clothes if we wanted to. Uh huh. But we start out pretty easily, and yeah. honestly, I think you're looking pretty heckin' cute, Ruth. Yeah, thank you. I like, I like, I like, I like it too. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so like distracted because this is super adorable. I, I'm actually really impressed by the character creation. Mm -hmm. And like, I love it's, the it's journal. So, it's amazing how much inclusivity you can really work with. Yeah. And really create, I love that. Um, we have mostly female characters and mostly femme characters in this game but we do have a few non-binary characters and a few male characters and it's absolutely wonderful i love um, that the run does start on the mayor's first text box we have a cute little scene that goes into it first but i will count down when we get to it perfect um this is cutie village it's where most of well, some of the characters live those two girls we just passed by those were the two original characters in game but we now have the character creator. I love this. I love the cherry blossoms, by the way. Mm -hmm. I so wish that I had cherry blossoms surrounding me all the time. <laughs> this is our cat cafe, and the run starts on the mayor's first text box, which will be in three, two, one, go. Good luck, have fun. Yeah, so we start by talking to Kiva. She is the mayor of the town. And oop, we are going to place a piece of furniture. That's all we have to do to get that done. We're gonna pick up, oop, come here. We're gonna pick up our cat friend, tell them to follow us and talk to Kiva again. And now we're gonna go make some cookies. Except this is any percent. Uh, we don't actually do the mini game in any percent. However, for GDQ, I've worked it down, so um, we're gonna do it once. We're gonna make some bagels later on. So I guess this is any percent with bagels. <laughs> any percent bagels. Any percent new bagel category. Percent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're gonna talk to Maya over here she is an owl girl she wants to get up and talk and uh go see her girlfriend who is another owl girl freya who lives up in the mountain the path to mountain is blocked so we've got to go see autumn who is a witch and she's gonna help us unblock path uh it's very frustrating your jump button and your talk button are the same on a controller so a lot of times you guys might see me jump on people's heads <laughs> i'm gonna count how many times you jump on people's heads <laughs> oh oh it, you're gonna lose count <laughs> uh what i'm doing um is one of the only real glitches because this is the glitchless percent category uh, it's the first half of glide hopping. The second half involves having a bird on your head. It makes you go a little bit faster. I swear, that is just a faster run than any of the other ones. This is Autumn. 
she's a half cat girl. She had, uh, she's a witch. She had a little bit of a potion issue. It's fine. This is her cat, Char. Uh, Char was lost. We found Char and we brought them back. We're gonna go make some bagels now. I can no, my that's my favorite wrong. part of the whole run. Ah, I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment. There we go. Okay, um, this is a magical world full of magical girls, and that means we cook things for our magical cafe in a very weird, weird way. We're tiny. So, we've got to, you know, uh, find a way to work with that. We're going to grab this salt. And what would a cat game be if you didn't push stuff off of the shelves? <laughs> Don't oh, worry about anything storm. that falls onto the ground. Uh, there's a group of mice with trampolines down there uh, that will bounce anything back up to us. I really wish I was joking about that. Oh, I see them. <laughs> um, And we're really small. How are we going to need this dough? With a little help from our friend here. Oh, bud. <laughs> Making some biscuits. Yeah, I, got, I gotta <laughs> find the right spot. Oh my gosh, I love it. So, and then Ken um, is kneading. Oh my gosh. Yeah. One of the reasons uh, I've thought about running 100%, but I haven't quite done it yet because 100% involves filling out your animal pedia. So the encyclopedia of all of the animals and creating all of the foods. I'm gonna cut out these bagels here. And this is literally my favorite animation in the entire game. Oh, that is so cute. The how little could you, hula hoop. How else would yeah. you stretch dough when you're when you're tidy? Yeah, exactly. The hula, you just hula hoop it. You you gotta use your um uh, but it also, your, your uh, it shows how few bones our character has. Um, <laughs> if we have ch a chance at the end, I'll show you guys because we can pick up and wiggle animals and uh, we definitely have like no wrist bones when we do that. Oh. Bones are very overrated. Bones yeah. are extremely <laughs> overrated according to this game. Whoop, darn it. Oh, whoops. The water is very hot. Uh, this is the fishing mini game. It's it's a very uh, good fishing mini game. I could I could tell. It, I, I, you know, it's just as good as Stardew Valley. Just as good. Yeah, just Fantastic. as good. Fantastic. <laughs> I love this fishing game. And we've got to make sure that these are nice and seasoned. So I really want to know what everybody's favorite bagel topping is. Pretty sure we're making Ooh. everything here. I'm partial to poppy seed myself. There's poppy seeds and everything. I like onions, personally. That's a good one. I Eat. think that has poppy seeds, too. Yep. And, um, yes, this this is an easy bake oven. Oh, it's adorable. This game is so cute. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to run on our hamster wheel. Uh, one thing I don't understand is how an easy bake oven adds cuts them and adds some sort of schmear. It's magic. You're, it is you're tiny, we, and this is the question you're asking? This is true. So uh, Autumn is going to prepare us a potion overnight. We're going to sleep. And we're going to go and we're going to pick up that potion. So we have to pick up a little friend on our way. Meow. <laughs> Now, this right here is the core movement tech of the whole yeah. game. Oh, Fly okay. Uh, it doesn't work so well uphill, but it really does allow you to build up some momentum and uh, glide. I yeah, think. Sort of does an animation cancel that conserves mm -hmm. your momentum every time you bounce. So as long as you bounce very quickly after you hit the ground, you just keep going faster and faster. Yeah. Wild. So Autumn made oh. us a wonderful potion that made our cat, well, her cat bigger. I love the Mount Cat. <laughs> oh, you oh, haven't seen nothing yet. Oh yeah, no. Oh. Um, 
Just wait. If you if you think that this is good, just wait. So this is basically the only break I get in the run is this first little run up the mountain here. And we are definitely moving faster than we would be if we were going on foot. But we can go faster and we will be going faster very shortly. I, the music is really oh, like it's helping. It's so good. Yeah. Um, I find myself singing along to this idly every time I'm running. Oh. And you you don't even notice you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like something that just happened. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I know for me, um, something about indie games just have such unique music yeah. titles. And I could just listen to a lot of soundtracks. So uh, don't ask me how the bird is holding on to us. I, I don't know. But we're going to go actually get <gasps> our best friend in the entire game. That kitty sparkles. Oh, this kitty it's is fantastic. Oh, this kitty that is, is also oh, that's cute. big. Dude. Yeah, that kitty is. <laughs> Whoa. And this kitty's fast. Wow. So I feel this, like I'm on a... Go ahead. Sorry. This is, the, uh, this is who we're going to be taking around for the rest of the run. Yeah, no, this is a this is the psychedelic forest spirit kitty. Anyway, one of the kitty. main oh, things okay. with Calico is the Cat Cafe Sim, uh, which we've basically finished all of the Cat Cafe Sim that we're going to actually be doing in the run. Uh, that part's over. And completing some requests for friends to move around the island and unlock different areas. Eventually, the end goal is getting to the Witching Woods. We have to do that by going through the city and there's construction cats in our way. Oh, it's time for Owl Club. Yeah, we're just about, we're, we're getting Owl Club going. So we talked to Freya and Freya and her girlfriend Maya, along with one other person, form Owl Club. And oh. in a couple of seconds, I'm going to need, or well, maybe about a minute. I'm going to need everybody in chat to put a good hoot hoot in there for me, because that's very important. Aww. Um, Ash is the other member of Owl Club. Uh, they are not an owl girl, but they're like an owl, owl enthusiast. However, they're a very hard worker because they're in witch school and they've got to put themselves through witch school. So uh, they work at the general store. And we're going to help them do some deliveries. We take the cat up to the onsen. Talk to Lumi, who is another witch. And we're going to deliver eggs to Kiva. And like, Kiva is a little awesome. She just says, I love egg. And I'm like, ah, Kiva, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jump on your head. Thank you for egg. Welcome. Yeah, um, we just did a little drive by of the two OG characters. That's all we see of them in the run. <laughs> okay, Ash. And now, th oh, told you it was going to happen at least once. <laughs> okay. And now that we've done all of that, we can go up and attend Owl Club. I hope y'all have your hoot hoots ready. Sure do. Good. I do. Good. It's very important. The run is entirely invalid if we don't type hoot hoot. Because it makes sense. Look, there's owls all around and these owl girls. Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. <laughs> I would love to see hoot hoots in chat, everybody. I, I would love to see some hoot hoots in chat. Um, so Ash, being a witch and all, and being in witch school, knows how to speak cat, because that's witch school 101. Yeah, no, like, it, I'm not going to question their curriculum. I figured that that would be something you'd learn before witch school, but whatever. And Ash is going to tell us that they are deficient in vitamin bagel. And the interesting thing is, is we made some bagels earlier. 
That's right, we did. Oh, <laughs> we did. That's true. We so hulu that them. is now done. The next place we would go to is the coast. But the coast is blocked by these poisonous flowers. They're, they look extremely poisonous. Very scary. I'm... I actually kind of want to take one. I know. I actually tried to grab one in my uh, casual playthrough. Nothing happened. It made me kind yeah, of. Is it weird that I think they look delicious? Right. <laughs> this is Safina and the Business Cats, which uh, great band name. And the Business Cats want to go to uh, the coast, but they can't because poisonous flowers. So we've got to find a flower expert. For some reason, I really love this cat and I kind of want like a plushie of it. Uh, I love this game so much. It's just way too cute. I'm talking to Poppy way too much. Um, now, Poppy is a flower expert who could remove these poisonous flowers, but Kiva, being the mayor, uh, needs to give us permission. The funny thing is, Kiva wasn't going to actually give us permission until Cat Cor she found out we were involved with Cat Corporation. I don't know what that says about her politics, but, you know, I'm not going to question it. And Poppy is going to deal with the poisonous flowers overnight. Because... Um, did you guys know that the best way to deal with poisonous flowers is to sneak sneak up on them while they're sleeping? No? The science checks out. Science checks out. Oh, this game's official. There's a red panda. It's my favorite. <laughs> Would you like to see the red panda at the end? Yes, I love we red pandas. We can definitely go see the red panda. Okay, uh, uh, this is the most important thing in the run. I have lost many, many, many runs to not looking at this cat butt. We have to make sure that this cat butt registers because I don't want to have to come back up here and look at it again. Not that okay. it isn't cute, but you just it don't is wanna... actually a flag. Yeah. <laughs> don't do I, I, didn't realize, I didn't realize cat butts were a thing. Yep. A giant cat butt too. <laughs> so we're going to tell Safina that the beach is open. And the business cats are going to head over there. And so are we. I, d I did have a nice pun that I saw. Oh? Those business cats are very professional. Oh, God. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kai. She is the lighthouse keeper. Uh, she asks us if we ever feel like a lighthouse. I don't know what she means by that. Do I was about to ask. Do you ever feel like a lighthouse? I actually, in a weird way, know what it means now because of what's going on in my life. Okay. I think a, a lighthouse is kind of like you're you're trying to search at sea. So if you ever feel like a lighthouse, you're being that person that everybody finds. That made no sense, but I, I know what it means. See what, like, I do kind of see what you're trying to say. I can see that. Yeah. Being kind yeah. of a beacon for everybody. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted to say. <laughs> so we picked up a special item from Estelle at the general store because Kai has a theory of what we can do to uh, distract the cat. And that's turn the lighthouse into a laser pointer. Uh oh. So if we're all lighthouses, we have laser pointers mm -hmm. that actually makes sense i can actually like, I'm, <laughs> I'm liking this imagery yes okay so also no. that weird animation with the big cat where it kind of like floated in the air twice happens every time we have no idea why no clue why <laughs> sometimes it happens uh weirdly enough when you're on the forest spirit cat i feel like maybe the big cat has the same physics as all of the other mountable cats. Um, maybe, actually, if I think about it, I have theories now. Oh, my brain's actually working. Anyways, um, <laughs> this is Daisy. She's a mouse girl, as in she is a mouse. And she's very scared because that cat has now taken up residence right by her house. 
Uh-oh. So she wants to find a way to move it. And Autumn used to live out in... Okay, good. Uh, used to live out in the witching woods. So she might be able to deal with it. But yeah, yeah with that animation, um, I've had it happen when I'm riding on the cat. And it gets really weird. I, I got caught in a loop for, I think, like 30 seconds one time. Really weird. But um, Autumn, being a cat girl, knows that cats need stimulation. If your cat's bored, it's going to be doing weird stuff. So we're going to give this giant cat a giant magical mousy. So, ooh, oh, please, please don't do the thing. We were, okay, I was about to say, don't do the thing. We were just talking about doing the thing. Don't do the thing to me, cat. Um, we're going to go talk to all of the witches around town and have them infuse a mouse with magic. Most of these are characters we've met before. Um, Estelle, Ash, we go up to the Onsen to see Lumi, and we're going to go meet, honestly, my favorite character design in the entire game, Zen. Uh, Zen is a mushroom girl. Come on, I can talk to you, please. And I love her skirt and hat. I do too. Is that a mushroom? Yeah, it, like it's a mushroom skirt. Sure, I I it want is. it. I do too. I I will wear a different color, but I do want one. Right? I've actually seen some Etsy uh, like mushroom hats that are really really cool that I want to grab. Ooh, I I I believe that. I really like to compare the run-up we do on Char in the beginning versus the run-up we do on the Forest Spirit Cat when we come up to the Onsen later. You see how much <laughs> faster this big kitty moves. Yeah. It actually is interesting. When I hear Char, I think of Char Buddy. Me too. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to deny that. <laughs> okay, so our, our Magical Mousy is infused and time is going to be coming up when the cat picks us up in its mouth. No, that's the wrong toy. And that is time. GG's. Oh, GG's. That is so cute though. That is the cutest way to end. Right? Oh my goodness. So uh, the end credits has the cat running through basically all of the areas we go through. And it just has this wonderful song in it too. It's it's fantastic. The soundtrack for this game is phenomenal. I really suggest people play this if you enjoy a chill cafe sim that you did not see any of in in this speed run. We do so little of the actual making food, decorating your cafe. We don't do that at all. This is a speed run. <laughs> I'm listening to the music right now. It's so good. I, I do want to kind of let the credits play because the music's really good. Um, plus, I it is wonderful the... because we do get to see all of the Kickstarter uh, backers who were involved, which is just fantastic. That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. No. Um, oh. oh, gosh, I can't remember the goal that they were able to make, but it was a very, very good one. Just such it's it's such a cute game. Also, what I really like about this run is this is a cat cafe simulator and you'll notice we got about three minutes of cat cafe simulator right at the beginning so you this get runs even less when we don't do the bagels no. <laughs> yeah the run is fantastic because you kind of get the vibe of the game but it hasn't been spoiled for you in any way um yeah. i literally just checked it's about 12 us dollars on steam if you're interested in it it's it, it's a whole dang vibe mm -hmm. yeah i love this i'm digging it i um I appreciate how, like, that's a lot of people, though. I'm still looking at the names. I know. I'm like, uh, the first time when I hit <laughs> end credits in my cre in my uh, casual playthrough, I was frankly shocked at how much, how many backers they had. Oh, I need to, we need to go see the Red Panda. Yes. Oh, and bones? No bones? Question marks? Pardon? Yeah, we got to do the, the wobble. You got to wiggle. Wobble. Oh, yes. Yeah, we got to yes, yes. yes, no bones. Okay. Oh, um, I so think cute. my fastest way. I need to put that away. You know what? We're going to. We're going to get a really interesting and 
fast way to do this. We're gonna take our broom. Oh, bro. Are we Kiki? We yeah, are. Kiki. Oh, I love it. I love the. Oh, this is amazing. Now I believe the red panda. If I remember correctly, it's either in Cutie Village or if it, or it is in the park. I might be thinking of the raccoon. I I love that I have a whole village. Actually, in real life, I'm, I'm I have a whole I I am having a village. <laughs> I have well, a lot of go. people that I think should be in, like in the Cutie Village. Uh, I think you two need to be there for sure. <laughs> and then I have, you know, uh, the, the GDQ fam and then, yeah. And then my new fam and then my family family. I, there's a lot of fams going on. <laughs> ah, I think moment. everyone should be there. No bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Like your oh, arms are going so, so weird and wonky, and it's just absolutely <laughs> silly. What is happening? <laughs> we don't have any bones. Oh, that's I I can't process with how much joy that is. And oh, now we have a red so panda on our head. I know. <laughs> oh, this is like my favorite. Thank you so much. It, 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 I feel problem. like I, I have a red panda and I have a village and I have everyone that needs to. I also know everyone to my village invite later. Um, mm -hmm. But this was so adorable. And I love how like this game was so cute. Um, it is. It truly but, is. I'm really happy I was able to like uh, submit it for Legally Cute. I'm like, hmm, I think <laughs> this one will work. This is perfect. Um, was there anything you would like to say about like the community or the game or any shout outs? Um, honestly, I haven't been too involved in the community. If you are in the Calico community, please feel free to hop into my stream. I've been doing this fairly regularly. I'm thinking about doing 100%. It's a very, very small speedrunning community. I think there's maybe five people who have submitted an any percent glitchless run at all so if you're out there please i'd love to make connections with you <laughs> well i definitely would love to see anyone who is interested um in the uh you know in chat with the pins uh you can find the information there also you could always go to speedrun.com to get involved uh, or find clockwork ophelia um, on the Twitch channel, definitely check uh, check out the channel and see when you know uh, Calico is on and being able to see the speed run. Um, especially mm -hmm. if you're doing the hundred, uh, that I'm, would be a I'm lot really of fun. I'm really thinking watch. about routing out the hundo percent. It'll be a lot of fun because I really enjoy the cooking mini game. It can oh. be a little annoying, but it's it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, and and um, Jo, was there anything you would like to say? Um, I mean, not a whole lot. But I'm J.O. You can find me on Twitch here at twitch.tv slash J.O. underscore EXE. I'm on Twitter at the same thing, but I mean, who cares? Uh, I play a lot of randomizers. Um, I do a lot of crowd control, make game adjacent things. Recently, one of the kind of fun things I've been doing is I've uh, I've set up a entry level DJ controller to play a little bit of Katamari. I initially set it up as a challenge run, but it's weirdly intuitive. So that's a lot of fun. Well, nice. I definitely think uh, we don't go away. We do have some more uh, Legally Cute showcasing more cute, adorable games like Slime Ratcher coming up with the same runner and commentary. Um, we will take a short little break and just make sure to stretch our feet or legs, I meant to say. And, uh, you know, maybe go get a little blanket so you could get some cozy up and nice tea or something like that um maybe cold tea because it's hot but mm -hmm. <laughs> either way uh we will be back and stay tuned we'll have more to come hello everybody welcome back to more legally cute i am your host cutie Roo sr and before we get into the next adorable game that I would love to watch, I just have a few things just to kind of mention. Um, we do have the Frame Patels, Flame Patels 
that is going to be starting this Sunday on August 13th and it runs through August 20th. So definitely check it out, be there. It's gonna be really fun. A lot of amazing games that are gonna be being showcased by a lot of talented speedrunners. But the schedule, if you wanna check it out, you could see the schedule on games.quick.com and you can find all the information there. Also, uh, we do have all of our videos, all of the VODs, they are on, if you have like missed any of our the events, like even just GDQ, anything that's going on, the hotfix shows, anything like that, be sure to check out all the VODs on YouTube.com when games don't quit. They are amazing. We have a lot of great shows with a lot of amazing content. Um, definitely with our Raider that, uh, that is correct with Sade. There's a lot of amazing content out there, but definitely if you always want to check out, you can find the VODs there, or you could always make sure while you are there, you could press the like button on the video, as well as subscribe to the channel so that you can get updated and follow the Games Done Quick channel and, and be watching the live content. Well, in the meantime, we have some more cute games, the cute redders, the commentary. Um, I just wanted to kind of reintroduce uh, our wonderful runner. Um, I'm going to say it exactly like this because I love it. Uh, we have our Hotfix regular raider, Clockwork <laughs> Ophelia, with us, as well as our Hotfix moderator, J.O. So we have a new game to show. And for anyone that's watching this, it's called Slime, or Slime Rancher. And we could take it away when uh, with Clockwork Ophelia. Just let us know whenever you're ready. Hello guys, we are back with some uh, Slime Rancher. We are going to be doing some Rush Mode today. Uh, J.O., you have also done some Rush Mode, right? I sure have. Yeah, recently, we've both been doing a lot of Rush Mode. This has been, I, this is in my opinion, one of the, one of the great built-in kind of challenge Rush Modes in a game. Um, there is the chance that I will have to reset this maybe once or twice to get a good first um, request, but I'm hoping that Nora is going to be nice to us. Um, so it will count down on a three, two, one. Uh, but yeah, let's let's just get into it. I'm not sure how exactly we'll want a time because this has an extending time type thing. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Yeah, so the way the time winds up working in this game is when you start it, you have oh, a 51 minute timer counting down. Um, throughout your run, you will get four requests from the different people who also live out here in the far, far range. Every one of them that you complete within the time limit will give you an extra 12 minutes. So the maximum amount of time you wind up getting is 51 plus 48 minutes, a little bit under two hours. The goal of rush mode is mainly to make as much money as you can in the time limit. The sort of soft goal of rush mode is to collect 25 of the ports from each of the slimes. Yeah, um, we are slime farmers. Uh, we are trying to get ports, which are effectively poop. We're, we're, we're poop farmers. No, it's not poop. It's just something it's that comes it's out poop. when you Feed you feed them. them and it comes out. It's, it's poop. That's poop. It's, it's that poop. is totally poop. I'm sorry. I, I have to agree. This is this is the world that everything is built on slime poop and it works for them. Uh, my first request is from Nora. She wants five tabby plorts and um, three heartbeats, which is quite nice. That's I honestly will take not bad. That. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a really nice first request. Did the requests do get kind of more exotic and difficult as you go along. They'll have you going kind of further to places to get stuff that's sometimes a bit harder to come by. Um. So uh, technically this <laughs> Slime Rancher is a first person shooter. So um, aimbot, if, if, if you'd like a submission, I guess we can also do this. <laughs> <laughs> you can. That's true. Good I guess. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'll be like, hey, Berlin, uh, do you want a cute Do you Do you that... want a really cute shooter? <laughs> Technically it is. This, this is a gun. Yeah, that's true. It is. It's very... Hey, get uh... back in there, buddy. Uh, I'll need that much more. We're going to combine, combine uh, tabby and pink slimes um, because tabby slimes eat meat because they're cats. Pink slimes eat everything because okay. they're pink. Wait, I don't, I don't have much of an actual explanation on that one. Uh, oh, right okay. now, this is a bit messy because I don't have any money. But we're going to get money very shortly. I need you guys to stay in there. So um, right now, I've kind of got to set some stuff up to get this ready. Could you? It's fine. It's fine. That. Uh, tabby slimes are absolutely. No. That's my poop. I can't have that poop. You don't want to share that poop? That's my poop. <laughs> Honestly, you're going to hear a lot of that from me in this. Nope, that's my poop. Can't that's have that totally, poop. totally, uh, I, I totally respect five? that. Okay. Apparently, I can't count. So, one of the most adorable parts y'all might have noticed about Slime Rancher is that slimes can sort of fuse together. If if a slime eats a port from a different slime, it winds up becoming a big slime called called a Largo, but it winds up like a fusion between the two of them. Mm -hmm. So like over there, we had the pink tabby slimes, and when they fuse together, we get a big slime, but it's it's all pink, but it also has the tabby features. And there's some absolutely adorable combinations that you can get here. Yeah. And the actual in-game mechanic benefit of that is that a slime that's combined winds up being able to eat whatever food either slime that it came from can eat and has the same favorite food as both slimes, which will make it produce twice as many ports. Mm -hmm. That way you can make a lot of money very quickly. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, all of my tabby slimes, all of my tabby ports. I need to go get heartbeats, which uh, there's a couple areas. Heartbeats grow in the indigo quarry, which is kind of like your one of your second areas that you'd get to. Um, you go through, you feed a couple gordos, which are these, you, you'll see them around, these very large slimes. I'm actually going to go feed a tabby one right now. Um, They're big. Very big. You'll notice that Ophelia is being very careful to make sure that she grabs about 30 pogo fruit that she's going to need shortly. I'm not going for foster. Oh, really? Uh, it was nice enough to give me one right there. How about that? I will take that. Uh, I'm I'm more comfortable going for uh, honey over phosphor. I'm still g gathering all the fruit, but I'm more comfortable going honey over phosphor. Oh, okay. And that's one of the fun things about this run. Um, there is no wrong way to route. You're going to want to find a few things that work better for you, but J.O. and I can both do this and have very different routings on how stuff works for us. These pink <laughs> gordos. See? Big. Very big. And then they pop. <laughs> That's the best. Oh, you're feeling very generous today, game. I will take it. It's nice. You were very mean during practice. Oh, was the game being like, nope? Um, I have a rule because I've had, ooh, that was spicy, uh, many runs die to Nora requesting um, specifically a Rosterio. So if I see a chicken in that first request, I just reset. And I think I had probably 
four or five just resets to start my day. And I was, I was getting a little frustrated. That's, I swear it's just frequency illusion, but it feels like when Nora asks you for a chicken of some kind, that type of chicken just mysteriously won't, won't show up anywhere. Mmm, 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 mmm. Spicy meatball. <laughs> um, okay, Spicy. uh, it's okay, that's fine. We need to keep these gilded ginger. Uh, gilded ginger, very, very important. I have a money issue, uh, or not money, inventory issue right now. Um, gilded ginger are what's needed to feed the uh, gold gordos. Gold gordos are where we're going to get most of our money. I don't want this one. I want. I did the re first request actually pretty quickly. I'm, I'm very happy with uh, that. It gives you a lot of time to set up your teleporters and stuff for the next day. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. This is very important. Oh, did you not remember that? I forgot. <laughs> um, I found out recently that in rush mode, you get free warp tech. And this is fantastic because this makes getting out to certain areas and getting home a lot easier than it used to be in my run. And it's caused me basically to have a whole bunch of PBs and it's felt really good. And the other thing you saw her put down there are drones. You can yes. sort of program them to do one specific task. So it'll make a lot of stuff just really easy and you don't have to think about it much later on to automate a lot of the basic stuff that's gonna go on on her farm while she's out completing tasks for everybody. Mm -hmm. I would I love to get my run out to the Ring Island completed before day one's even over. That would be like really nice. Ooh, um, I'm gonna, my stamina is fine. I'm just not gonna wait. I'm not gonna tempt fate. Marathon safety. I have six gilded ginger in my inventory. I'm not losing that. Yeah. If you do fall into the slime sea, you'll wind up not only losing like 10% of your score that you've accumulated so far, but you'll lose everything in your inventory. I think we only wind up getting like, what is it? I think 24 gold ginger the entire time. So getting a solid score is basically completely dependent on not losing any of them. Yeah. You feed three gold ginger to a uh, gold gordo to get it. Oh, oh, that hurt my soul. Just ran away from me um, to get it to kind of pop open like that. And then it pops into a whole bunch of gold slimes. Come back for that. Um, that you then have to fling food at. In the base game, you start out, if you see a golden slime, you have to feed it gilded ginger in the vanilla game. And that's the only way to get it to, oh, hey, look, a tar, fun. Uh, that's the only way to really get it to, um, give you its ports in this. Okay, if you wanna just kind of stand there. Um, in this, you have the upgraded golden sure shot, which allows you to just launch any, I'm having issues with my mouse, um, any food at them and it will have three gold ports explode out of it. I'm hoping for approximately 25 ports per per kind of explosion. And then that winds up being like the major driving force of money, which both contributes to your end game score and gives you the ability to very, very rapidly expand the farm to build yeah. up your money and score even further. So it's kind of key to knock out a bunch of these as early as you can. So you have the most time that the game is running with the farm basically on automatic, continuing to pile up money for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. We're fine. 
I'd be more angry about losing 50 gold plorts than I would over uh, three gilded gingers, to be honest. Okay. So, we have some rapid money to make and some rapid money to spend. Because it's not your end plort, sir. You are far too far away from your home. Uh, it's not your end plort amount, but the amount of, or your end money amount, but the amount of money that you earned throughout the entire run. So, I'm going to... It's a purchase. The music in this game is so good. Um. Now, here you're going to see the farm sort of rapidly come together. Yeah. <laughs> Boop. I love this game. I've it's never so seen it until now. Calico, I have seen, but not like that. Like I haven't, I've, I've seen it like in the story, you know what I mean? But- And the, like actual gameplay instead of the kind of speed run. Yeah. Yeah. Run is fast for Calico. Okay. I need to go get, you need to go in your home. So do you. Sir? Classic okay. cat behavior, really. Literally. Uh, where are you? Would you guys be any farther away? Okay. Not that it really matters because it's nighttime now, but we got a whole bunch of stuff done before uh, even day two when. Yeah, that was so great. I'm. An island run on day one is extremely good. I'm very content with this. Um, I gotta go grab rocks. And then set up the drones. So, um, you'll notice that um, I'm doing a l I wouldn't s it's careful it's careful ish inventory man or not uh, inventory stamina management I was wondering about that about how you like I actually am curious how that works in the sense of like um, the two bars you see down at the bottom of the screen you've got your health and that little energy meter the energy meter is your stamina that's what allows you to run to jetpack which is that little like uh, kind of gassy sound you hear coming out of uh, out of the, the game. And um, your jetpack is very important. There is so much in this game that is getting over stuff or through stuff in ways that you weren't really expected to. Um, I'd love to chat with the devs about like, did, did, were they, I thought I heard Tar Song for a second. Um, were they expecting people to get over stuff the, w the way that they did? Because it's all really insane. Yeah, very seldom uh, will you wind up taking the place. actual path to a place. You're usually like climbing over the side of a mountain or something. Okay. Um, I love I, I love the the ranches. Like they're just all so they're so cute. Okay. These so I can make sure that you're converted. And... Yeah. What what are those ones called by the way? They're very interesting looking. These ones? Yes. Uh these are phosphor rock largos. 
So if it is a combo of two slimes, it's called a Largo. Largo, okay. Because it's large. I, th- I think is I think is the logic if I think about it, but uh-huh. I'm also not 100 percent on that one. Yep. I don't really need the scare slime, but I'm putting it down just in case. Someone in chat is asking if we can get those drone things in the base game. Uh, yep. Yes, you can. A lot of this stuff is normally in the regular game, very late game items. Mm-hmm. So one of the things of rush mode is that it basically starts you out fully upgraded. Yeah, I and have. It gives you a handful of like the best late game stuff to just set up your farm right away. Yeah. It's basically if you've gone through and you've done Slime Rancher. And you really enjoyed it? Try try a rush mode. It's it's honestly it's so much fun. I find it such a good pure randomizer. Like it has what all good randos have, where you get to take all of that game lore and knowledge of where things are and how to get around Here. that came from the casual playthrough, and just keep finding infinite new ways to use it because Oops. the requests that you get are completely random, which will completely change the path you take, the order you do things, the way that you build your farm. And it's just such an excellent way to take a game that's so great and keep it fresh. Uh, chicken, chicken, where are you? Eat the chicken, darn it. Eat the chicken. Thank you. Ray, nice. Rarely do I have the opportunity to do that. That is a lucky cat slime. Um, Your swag. Like all cat slimes, they eat meat. But if you shoot a chicken at them, they explode into money. I, I was having a little bit of seed bleed. Did, I was wondering if I opened up that tabby. I already have. I don't know why I'm grabbing that. Um, I have two keys in my inventory. Normally, you would use your keys to unlock doors like this. However, this one, we don't need to do that. This is what I mean by did the devs, did the devs think they know we were going to do that? Like in many games, most of the doors are just suggestions. Yep. 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 Doors are only just there to look pretty. <laughs> and that's it. Doors are there to look pretty and annoy speedrunners. <laughs> we find ways around them. Okay, that's a boom. Um, we are now in the moss blankets, which is kind of the jungle area. I guess I'd call it. Yeah, it seems pretty jungly. Come on. Thank you. Where do you usually put your teleporter here? Oh, I put it way farther out than you do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I usually put it right by the entrance. I figure um, you've got the tabby teleport that you can use that's fairly close. So if I'm going out for the hunter, uh, which is why I put mine out farther is for that big hunter gordo. Um... I may as well put it close there. I don't have enough fruit. I need to remember that honey needs 10. This can be a bit of a spicy jump if you're not paying attention to your stamina. I might get lucky here. One of the trickiest things to wind up getting in a rush mode game is a hunter slime. Mm. It's very rare that they show up sort of like in their normal small form. There is one hunter slime gordo that you have to feed. I think it's about 30 30. meat. So chickens of any kind that pops into hunter slimes, but that is a really big time sink and a lot of times it winds up getting missed. I'm hoping for a hunt. 
Come here. I see you. I see you. Where did you go? Come here. Oh. No, no, no. No. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Ooh, game's feeling nice. We got two. Yeah, get out of here. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> game's feeling nice today. I'll take it. Yay! No more bad game practice question marks. I just, the we've only like, done I one request. I, I'm not <laughs> not quite that that confident in it yet. Oh, got it. Okay. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> I usually. Okay, yeah, you're not pink. I usually do hot honey slimes. That's like one of my kind of. You you find certain slime combos that you're like, no, this is the one I have to make. And for me, it's it's honey slimes and the boom slimes because then it's hot honey. <laughs> Which is my favorite flavor of chicken wing, by the way. Oh, I love that. Oh, those both you guys eat don't eat veggies. Yeah, yeah those both eat meat. Oh, I'm a dumb, dumb, dummy. Okay, that's not a good. That's not a good combo. I guess we're gonna go with hot honeys then. It's just meant I to be. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of like hot honeys, but for a different reason too. Like just sitting there and having that become like a flavor for everything else, like a hot honey basalt, or you know what <laughs> I mean. Like put it elsewhere. I guess is what I'm saying. Okay, so we've got that. I need to get I need to get honey slimes. But we can do that in just a second. Now I kinda wish I hadn't put my teleporter where I put it, but that's just where I uh that's just where it goes mentally for me. So angie. Oh, wow. I thought that was a box. That was just the edge of a rock. Okay. No, don't run us. That's not smart. There's a couple places that I have on multiple occasions. Thank you multiple occasions uh, dropped into the exact same place in the slime sea because I was not paying attention to my inventory. Oh yeah, you already had a bunch of food in you. There we go. <laughs> and... Oh, and it still saved you a mango too. Yeah. <laughs> And so I, we're... Sorry? Oh, I was going to ask, what got you to speedrun this video game? I always like knowing where you found the inspiration to speedrun the game and what inspired you to do it. I love Slime Rancher. This is one of those games that legitimately, as soon as I turn it on and I start to hear the little slime sounds, my mood elevates. Like... I'd say at least 30%. It's just one of those pure serotonin games for me. And I didn't really try rush mode until I uh, didn't, okay, I have only started speed running probably three months ago. I've been a speed running enthusiast for a while, um, but I only really started getting into it actively. I'd say about three months ago. And then I was like, you know what? Why don't why don't we try try active you know, try, I just about said activate because that was what I was reading. Um <laughs> why don't we try our hand at doing at doing rush mode? I really love this. And may as well. It's it's already got the built-in it's already built into the game, so you've always you been know. a fan of other randomizers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rando has always been a good time. Um, I wish I had the inventory space for the quantum stuff right now. I just don't. But we'll come back here once we've placed our desert teleporter. We'll get them lems. That is very convenient that they give you all of those teleporters at the start. Yeah. Because you can very quickly build a network 
right to the late game areas almost immediately. And then mm -hmm. you just save so much time getting from place to place. And in rush mode, time is money, money is score, and score is the name of the game. Mm hmm. I only ever feel the need to get about three keys. Uh, I can get over, well, I, on, I only use one other door, and then I open the other ones. Because one of them, uh, the two that get you into the port puzzle room that's done for you, um, I don't think those can be skipped, and I know this one can't be. Uh, they can be, but it's really not worth it time-wise. You have to like go around a weird long way to build up enough height. Uh, gotcha. This is like the end game area. Oh, okay. This is called the glass desert. And we're gonna put our blue teleporter right there and we're gonna go home. Uh, furthest point away in the game and now it's just a hop, skip and jump from home. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're hungry, you're angry, I know. <laughs> You're like, no. Yeah. Like, I get like, it. I understand. That, yeah. But it's not that important right now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is. I do need to feed them. No. It is. It, I'm nearly it, certain it that the It just requests, popped up right there. They come in at noon. Okay. Seven booms and two puddles. Victor's in a mood tonight. <laughs> Now, so that's, that's not that's not terrible RNG, but it's not optimal. It's it's a little stinky. I'm not very oh. happy with it. Like it's gonna take you a couple slightly different places. Yeah. Uh, luckily, I can get right there. <laughs> um, and we're gonna go and use this. Puddle slimes are the best slimes, by the way, guys. They are probably the cutest slime in the entire game. They're a little wet boys. <laughs> and if, if you get too many of them too close together, they get shy and they blush. I am not kidding. That is a really? real thing. It's so cute. Oh, Come here. I love that. You can only have four of them in a pond or they stop producing um, plorts because they get shy. And then they're just like, just, it's so, it's so cute. Uh, yeah, I can actually. How many puddles did he need again? Two. And there should be one in the pond right at the beginning of the uh, moss blanket. It just blows me away how many different viable strategies there are for this game. Because <laughs> that was not the route that I was thinking to take when I saw that request. I was thinking You would to have go gone over... Indigo Quarry, wouldn't you? Yeah, exactly. Would have gone yeah. Indigo Quarry. Uh, no, as soon as you said that, I was like, I bet I know. Ooh, what do you have for me? Nothing. As soon as you said that, I was like, I bet I know exact. I don't have any stamina. I know exactly where you would have gone. But I'm I'm very comfortable in the moss blanket. It's one of the big things for me. Uh, these treasure pods you see me randomly walk up to and open in the vanilla game have... Oh, that was bad. I didn't check my stamina before I jumped. That was almost very dumb. <laughs> Uh, they have curios, different technology that can be unlocked, that kind of stuff. And in rush mode, they just have money. Uh, depending on what color they are, they give you 100, 200, or 250 money. It's only a little bit, but it adds up, especially mm -hmm. if you're grabbing everyone as you go. Mm -hmm. Plus, it makes it more fun, and that's really why we're here. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
puddle slimes are just too cute. They make the cutest frickin' sound. Love them so much. They're- I would say they're my favorite slime in-game. Back to work, Jones. <laughs> that sounded so rude, but was literal. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I don't know if eating poop is a good thing, but I mean, hey, might work for some people. Or, well, not <laughs> slimes, I meant to say. <laughs> More like slimes. I'm apparently trusting myself way too much because I keep leaving golden gi gilded ginger on the ground. Like, oh, it's fine. Oops. Pink, pink, uh, pink slimes will eat that on you. Oh, will they? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, I thought that only the gold ones did. That's awful. It is. It's terrible. I've lost runs to that because if you lose one gilded ginger, there goes an entire gordo. Yeah, because it's in multiples of three. Yeah. But each one needs three, and you wind up getting them to six. So yeah, if you're missing one, you lose a lot of progress. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> no, so keep keep that in mind for your runs. <laughs> Always clean up pink boys. The pink boys are... Um, they need to not... They need to be clean. I was thinking stinky, but I was like, I don't know. They are stinky. stinky. They are kind of stinky. <laughs> so I was like, I mean, they I eat know. literally anything, so. <laughs> yeah. They would be, they'd be stinky. Yeah, so if you don't clean them, they're gonna be <laughs> stinky. Yeah, I I don't know how you get over that consistently. I think this is just faster to use the... Uh, the... It's always, oh, it's not faster to go over the top. I just oh. do the swag. I don't do it in rush mode. I use the key or I go around the back. Um, I want to grab rods and crystals while I'm out here. Oh, I won't be able to grab rods and crystals. I said eat. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be on aimbot. I really am not a good shooter. <laughs> That's what aimbots are for. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So this is the uh, this is the indigo quarry. Anytime you see me popping those kind of big ones, um, it's usually a teleport. Call. So I'll be using that later to get out here. Actually, I use my teleport system, but either or. Oh, I have beads. I don't need beads. I need inventory space. Okay, this bridge is the worst bridge in rush mode. It's really easy to forget what you're doing and just sprint all the way down it. And then by the time you get to the end for the jump, you'll just barely not have enough stamina to make it. Mm -hmm. So if you do that mm -hmm. without thinking, you're going in the suit. And usually you're coming over here to go to, uh, I'm having, I'm having uh, keyboard issues. <laughs> Those issues are, I don't know what button to hit. Um, ABM moment. Yeah. Usually when you're coming over here, you're coming over here to go to another one of these islands. So it would really suck to lose my Gilded Ginger. Uh, it's fastest to do it. One, two, three. Okay. That was solid. Okay, I don't want the hand. I want the ports. Yeah, it felt pretty solid. We'll see what we get on the count. But then I've also had ones where I kind of use the audio cue of um, that little, like, I don't know. You, you can hear it when I hit a gold, a gold uh, slime. You can hear that little like ping that it makes. But sometimes it doesn't seem to give that as consistently as I would like. Yeah, sometimes when you hit two, it just or more, it just sounds like one. 
Yeah, so... You'll only yeah. hear the noise five times. You'll think you didn't do very well, but then... Like, see, look at that. You got 33 from that. So you actually yeah, hit that 11 was, of them. That was a very good one. This I think is... It's 15 that it breaks down into. Okay, you wanna you wanna stay in there? That's fine. <laughs> A little sip in the water. <laughs> yeah, I know. Remember to hydrate. Yes, yes hydrate. Hydrate. Very important. Yes, especially with this heat going on right now. Mm -hmm. um, I know for me, I have been making sure I've been drinking a lot of water. And actually, oddly enough, I've been drinking less coffee, which I love coffee. So how does one drink less coffee? Uh, I this blame sounds the heat. Like, <laughs> that, that sounds like it's a fake, fake thing to me. I know, right? I was <laughs> drinking. So like I was drinking like coffee and tea every day, right? And then... Mm. I went to like coffee and then I put like ice in my coffee, but it's still, I don't know. There's just something about like the heat. I'm just getting so dehydrated and you know, coffee can dehydrate you. So yeah. Okay. Well, if you're, I'm sorry. I, uh, I was looking for a crystal slime. Uh -huh. I think they've all tarred. Have we talked about tar? No, we haven't talked about the tars yet. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. So we mentioned before, if, if a little slime eats a port from a different slime, they turn into a Largo that's like a fusion of two. But if a Largo then eats a port from a third type of slime, they turn into a tar, which are those those big, scary, gooey things. And they will eat other slimes or turn other slimes into tars as well. Mm -hmm. And that can just quickly wipe out a population. Oh, yeah. That you will really, wipe out your really don't effect. want it to happen on your farm. <laughs> but there is some good news. You can actually fight them with water. One blast from your water will prevent them from turning other slimes into tars anymore. And two blasts will melt them. I think one blast at night also melts them. I can't remember. They're like weaker in night or during it's, it's day. It's during the day, I think, that they're weaker. Oh, okay. That would thematically track. Mm hmm. That, that would very well track. Okay, we can. That's that's a, that's an acceptable amount. Mm -hmm. I think crystals are veggies. Don't run down this. We're gonna wait because uh, safety. <laughs> I I have to say this because of the coffee discussion. Uh. What is water but future coffee? It's just extra decaf. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do that. That was Love so it. Um, Rads eat veggies, so... Yeah. Sure. Ra Rads sure. eat veggies, so do crystal quartz. Crystal quartz eat the weird veggies that are hard to find and don't grow yeah. consistently. Okay, uh, still got about 12 hours before that all goes. Yeah, good boys. Uh, out to the desert. I'm hoping we get, um, so. Oh, hello there. I can come back <laughs> for that. I need the tangles. <laughs> Those don't I, always I, spawn there very quickly. That is, again, oh. some very nice RNG. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. But if I get the tangles and get that all going, then I can have the oasises and they do spawn at the oasis. So it's it's more important to me right now to get um, this fellow who's going to give us tangle slimes that are honestly some of, like... I, I I say I have a favorite slime. I don't. Oh, but no, 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 no. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Um, nope. Nope. Give no, me that. It's bad for you. Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> I, you you can you can eat that crystal. I don't care about that. That um, silver oh. parsnips are one of the most annoying uh, things to get in game because you have to do a lot to get stuff actually physically growing out in the desert. It's a desert. Um, and the carrots and are in a weird place when they do grow. Yeah, they're very, very weird. They're always so, either like tucked in a corner or like up on a high peak. Yeah. So um, that was really nice to see. There's one other thing I would have loved to see, which is prickly pears, but it didn't give us any prickly pears, but that's fine. We're just going to hope that Ogden is feeling nice today. Tangle slimes are really cute. Yes. Well, I don't know which one, which slime is my favorite yet. I'm still trying to decipher that in my head. Because I'm like, I they're have, all so cute. According to Steam, I only have like probably 70 some odd out of hours in this game, which is absolutely wrong. I know I've played more than that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I know I've played more than that. So, um. Oh, your first casual playthrough was longer than that. Exactly. So I don't I don't know where it's getting that number. But um even with that, I I can't tell you what my favorite slime is. I can tell you what my favorite combos are. And then every time I go, I find another favorite combos. Like Hunter and Rat, look at how cute these guys are. Look at little glowy eyes. My favorite is the hunters mixed with the honey slimes. Honey hunters are very cute. Honey hunters are very cute. So we're gonna start um, working very actively to make sure that we're getting all of our uh, bonuses now. Because other than, I have a few things that I don't have. That's fine, we can get them by going here. Yay. Oh, hey, it's a firestorm. This Believe is it a... or not, this is good. Damn, it just oh. ended. I'm sorry, oh. I, I I cursed it. That was on me. That's frustrating. It's okay. Okay, we're gonna hope for a dervish. Hey, look, a dervish. That's nice. I'm also going to grab you and hope that that crystal tangle is still hopping about over there. Yes, you are. So what you're going to do is you're going to be nice to me. You're going to give me... I... Fine, I'll just, I'll take the one. It's fine. Fine. Oh, I figured you were going for the tangles. Tangles already. I mean the plorts. Uh, no. Um, I need that crystal at some point in time to mix with something. What am I missing? Got it. 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 Not yet. Got it. I have it in my inventory. Quantum. Okay. Time to get quantum. Some of you might have noticed the sort of like yellow ring that was around some of those different plort icons in the market. That um, just represents the progress towards getting 25 of that plort. There winds up <laughs> being a bonus at the end of the game for each type that you got at least 25 of. So part of the part of the kind of soft goal of rush mode is to try to make sure that you have sort of a stable production of every single type by the end of the time. I have yet to be able to get all of the plort bonuses. Um, puddle and slime, or puddle and fire plorts are very hard to get. Like, they're extremely frustratingly hard to get. Because uh, puddles have such a small production chance in a corral. 
and fires. I need I need to remember there's so many puddles here. Um, fires have just a very low spawn rate. Yeah, they only happen during those firestorms that we saw one yeah. for like a fraction of a second earlier. That, so you that basically was... either have to spend a whole lot of time in the desert or get lucky and have one happen while you're there. You had a really good run the other night. You got like 10 or 12. It was oh, it was kind a, of insane. It was, it was more than enough. It was insane. But last three runs, I didn't get any, and that's that's just how the rando go. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about randos. You just never know. You never know. Yep. Quantum slimes are weird. The worst. <laughs> yes. Uh. Yes. Um. They are there and they're not. They can create a secondary clone of themselves and kind of extend that outwards. Here, there's one. See, they kind of leave and do all of that. And the best way to not have that happen is to keep them happy. It's, they'll I... always wind up doing that, but when they get unhappy, they'll actually switch with that copy that's outside that's fake. Mm -hmm. So it's like one's a hologram and one's the real one. And when they get cranky, they'll be able to switch with the fake one that they've sent outside. Mm -hmm. So if you don't feed them for a while, you'll come back and they're just wandering around everywhere. And there yeah. is absolutely nothing you can actually do to contain them other than just keep them happy. It's very frustrating. So usually for quantum slimes, you'll do something like keep them in the cave here away from everything else. And just, yeah, they, they don't share. They don't, they don't share. I, yeah, they don't, they, they get put in their own little, uh, their own little thing. That's going from the collectors to the market link. And you're going to take stuff. You're going to take fruit from the gardens and you're going to put it in the auto feeders. And you need an auto feeder for that to work. So I'm trying to uh, basically automate my stuff in here by just putting those drones down, putting a market link down and all of that. We have now a whole bunch of stuff that can happen in there without me having to think about it, which is very, very nice. Isn't that the dream, making money without thinking about it? That is the dream. <laughs> yeah, passive income would be, oh, I would love to make money in my sleep. Mm -hmm. I would love to make money just, I don't know, playing video games. That'd be great. Wouldn't we all, That would right? be the dream. That yeah. is literally the dream. I absolutely find it funny that the scare slime is a tar. And it makes sense because um, the... Eat, eat this, please. Eat. Eat the food. Okay, then I guess we're going to feed you chickens. Tangles are meat eaters, so they should have, like... Tangles are interesting because they can extend their little... Um, roots. You got like a vine hand thing. Yeah. Like that. You can see him doing it. Yeah. What makes them tricky is you'll notice they can reach outside their corral. Mm -hmm. So very, very frequently, again, if they're kept too close to other slimes, they'll eat stuff they really shouldn't. And you'll tar an entire pen. And it's very frustrating. Okay, what am I doing? Right now I'm kind of waiting. I don't like waiting in rush mode. Well, you just got to complete those requests less quickly then. Well, they <laughs> need to come in faster then. I mean... Let's go less fast in the speed run. Easy. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, easy. Isn't that how it works? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. So I need the tangles to give me three tangle plorts. Which give me that. There we go. 
because to get one of the other types of slimes out in the desert, we actually have to, I, I don't understand. Okay, in the base game, uh, you guys saw me pass it earlier. There's, right before the ancient ruins, there's uh, the big slime door. You have to bring a plort from every type of slime that you've encountered so far and fit it into the corresponding slime statue. In rush mode, that's already completed for you. There's another puzzle like that with the quantum plorts in the ancient ruins and you progress through doing that. And in rush mode, that's already completed for you. And in the base game, Yay, thank you. Um, in the base game, stamina, that's fine, we're not gonna drop. In the base game, you have to open up the uh, ancient water to water these oasises by fitting specific ports into specific statues. And weirdly enough, those are not completed for you in Rushman. So I've gotta go through and I've gotta make sure that I get this pretty good. Stamina. Thankfully, you only need to get one oasis. I'd usually do two or three, if I can. Sometimes I can make my shots. You'll also want to make sure you grab some fire slimes before the firestorm. I know, I'm looking for them. There's one. There. Fire slimes are like the exact opposite of puddle slimes. But they oh, that look makes sense. basically the same. But fire. Unlike the other slimes in the game, they do have special sort of living requirements. Got them. So they will need to live in something called an ash trough. And you basically throw any like food items and stuff like that that you're not using into it. And it kind of fills the place they're hanging out in up with ashes. And then they eat those ashes to produce their plorts. Um, like we said before, they only appear during these firestorms, so it can be pretty tricky and really RNG if you even be enough Get of them. them. But they can be kept with the sort of weirder slimes like this because they do not merge with other slimes. Um, yeah. Slimes can't eat their plorts. They can't eat the plorts of other slimes. It just, it makes it so that the resource stays rare and you can't kind of game it by mixing these slimes with something easier to maintain like everything else. I hate getting, um... Yeah, they bounce. They bounce a lot. Oh, uh, they do. Could you please? Could you please? They also like to hurt you a little bit. They are dangerous. There, there are some dangers to ranching slimes. They're just a little spicy. A little spicy. We haven't had too many spicy meatball moments, so I'm at least happy about that. Um, what should we combine our mosaics with? I might go with pinks just because that's fast. So you do have the uh, the silver parsnip that I think is what they like. Yeah, so I want to put that over here. You could really mix them with anything. Yeah, they've already true. got their favorite food. Rue, have you decided on a favorite slime yet? No, because they're all so That's cute. Okay. It's, it's an impossible task. It's a very uh, hard task. Like, if I had to choose, it would be cats because I love cats. But that's not, you know what I mean? If, um, it's, it's, what, it's what is your opinion of, on bunnies? I, okay, actually, you know what? I love bunnies. I want and bunnies. And you need to play Slime Rancher too. Yes. The second yes. one does have bunny slimes. We have bunny slimes unreal. in Slime Rancher too. <laughs> and I always make cabots because what else are Aww. you going to make with bunnies and tabby yeah. slimes? <laughs> oh, 
that is so cute. I mean, okay, I will say this. If there was red panda slimes, that would be my ultra favorite. That would oh be like Oh my god, that would be so win. cute. Yeah, that would be like, okay, like that for me would be the instant win. But, oh, bunny slime, so, okay. I have to kind of look at Slime Rancher 2 now, just so that I could see okay, I can all do that. the new slimes. They are so good. Um, I have on my, on my cons conservatory, I'm going the wrong way. I have all of the new slimes they've introduced so far, except for one that I cannot get to spawn. And it's like their rare secret, secret slime, and I can't get it to spawn, and it makes me very upset. It's got a very low spawn rate uh, this way. And I don't want to say what it is because I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it yet. I am one of those people. So yep. Thank you. <laughs> um. <laughs> but I will say it has something to do with chickens. And apparently it's not a chicken slime. It's not a chicken slime. Wouldn't that be something, though? What should I come slime? here for? Oka Oka. It's actually making me hungry in a weird way. <laughs> I, I think it's because I just, uh, you know, chicken, but yeah. There's Oka Oka on this island. So all these islands and all these places. I'm just thinking about all the places that we've seen. It's interesting that like we've already seen like the latest dungeon, you know? We've basically seen the entire map. We've basically been all over it. I've been to the Indigo Quarry. I'm having a hard time finding them. I think we visited all the major biomes. Yep. Like there's some individual little spots you haven't visited yet, but we've been to sort of all the all the regions that they have to offer. Okay, that works. Oh, were you looking for Oka Oka anyway? Yeah. There it's you not go. ideal because I'll have to grow it, but I can work with it. <laughs> Honestly, uh, so far these requests haven't have not been terrible. I've had much worse ones. You can still uh, if, keep an eye out for Oka Oka. Yeah, I'm gonna go for um, you got your another safety. run. Yeah. But yeah, no, these requests have actually been surprisingly nice. Um, <clears throat> I'm always worried when Ogden comes up because Ogden always asks for different types of foods. And that's why you guys see me planting random stuff, but basically only feeding my slimes a couple of things. Mm -hmm. um, that's mostly just security, so I don't have to worry about finding stuff later. Eats. I think there's Oka. Yes, there is Oka Oka from here. Don't eat it. Not if you guys eat it on me. Da, 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 da. Rod slimes are pretty cute. They are dangerous, though. Well, I was wondering which one is y'all's favorite slime. So, like, what, which slime In is yours, one? and then which slime is Jo's? In one, um, hmm. again, it's really hard to pick a favorite slime. I definitely have favorite combos, but a favorite slime is very hard to pick. Yeah, I'd say my like favorite. People. Yeah, my favorite combo is probably Hunter and Honey, but I don't think I could pick just like one base slime that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's crazy how you can have just like a, a silly little simple face, and they all just feel so expressive and have their own personalities. And mm -hmm. the art direction in this game is just absolutely something else. 
the art direction, the sound direction, all of it is, in my opinion, fantastic. I really like um, specifically the fact, uh, I like the faces of the slimes in, of the glitch slimes in Victor's slimulation. Yeah, I wish in that the... we had that in rush mode somehow. I get why we don't, because it takes a long time, but. In the base game, there's a lot of little, oh, I only needed three. Uh, there's a lot of like little mini games that come from these NPCs that have given us all of these quests. Uh, and that is, um, that is great. Like we have uh, Mochi Miles, she'll give us our last request. Um, she has a kind of rush mode of her own that comes up in game. Um, Victor is this big slime science guy, and um, he has a slimulation that has glitched slimes in it, and you have to kind of go through and help him do uh, bug fixes in his A program. slimulation is a slime simulation, by the way. I, I, I figured that was implied. <laughs> I mean, it might be. It is. Um, there we go. Gorgeous. Uh, where do I want to go? Little, I love the little, um, what do you call them? Oh my goodness. Fireworks. Yeah, that's what they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, was, that was super cute. I need to water my guys. Feed people. Food is important. That's what they keep telling me. Um, Rue, I know we wanted to take a break at some point. How long have we been uh, going? Uh, I mean, honestly, I think you're having a really great run. So yeah, we no, are it's... okay to uh, continue without. And so we're kind of, we're good. Um, yeah, no, we definitely that's fine. Are, uh, Works for me. Yeah. Cause uh, it's a it's a very interesting um, thing to see like the RNG is going so well. That's the thing with randomizers is that you can never I am project. very shocked. It's been yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. If we take a break, it might change its mood. Yeah, True. exactly. So I don't <laughs> I don't, don't want, want the RNG gods to yeah <laughs> like mess. So yeah, I we're totally fine. We are all good. We are chilling. Perfect. Vibing. This is at least, um, the fire plorts are at least a little bit easy to get out of the incinerator because they're a little bit heavier than the actual slimes. So you can kind of just feather your, wow, that was a good shot. Um, feather your gun and get it a little bit better. Do I, how do I feel about getting right now. I don't feel confident. Not yet. I can probably push it. Right the, end the longer you wait, the more pressure is going to be. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, what was I doing? I have guilted ginger in my inventory. That's not where I meant to go. It's this way. So, um, I recently found out that there are three gold gordos on each of these teleport islands. I thought there were two, um, and that meant I was ending up with, uh, six gilded ginger left over in my inventory at the end of the run, and that sucked. We don't have that issue anymore. Oh, I found okay. Them. Yay! I think there's actually a couple more gold gordos than there are like gingers. So you Ooh. don't actually wind up even getting them all. Because ah. I have had gilded gingers spawn like they do normally in the glass desert, but you only get one at a time. So I'm not playing around with that RNG. 
topics, you wind up getting up to 24 golden gingers if you do everybody's request. And that would only be yes, enough sir. for sir. eight um, gold gordos. And I yeah. know there's at least 10 or 11. So again, it's a very nice flexible randomizer where mm -hmm. you, you've got options. You can you can hit the spots that work for you and your run with the way the RNG is worked out, or just to oh. suit your own playstyle. Yeah, that's uh, exactly as we were saying earlier. Um, you always go for the boss for Gordo. I don't get that one, or Largo. I don't get that one. Knew there was Oka Oka up here. I just saw it. <laughs> I was wandering around this island going, where's the Oka Oka? Where's the Oka Oka? And I just saw it. That's... Did you ever get the slime right out front? I leave that for the end. Oh, okay. I get the one in... The ruins and that one with mochis. Cheers. <laughs> Where do I want to go? How do I want to do this? Yeah, this will work. You could grab puddles. I could. I could. I have the inventory space. That Whoops. rude. It's very... So it's very hard to tell what water you can fall into and what water you can't fall into. Oh, uh, okay. A good rule of thumb is if a slime can be in it, you can be in it. Because okay. the slime sea is made of slimes. Here, I'll actually, I'll demonstrate. I used to feel really guilty about this. Oh, I don't have inventory space. It's fine. I don't know how throwing a slime in there would make it clear, to be honest. Yeah, true, I guess. Um, where am I? Okay, I gotta go this way. Stop running. You need your inventory. You need your stamina. I am going a very bad route. This is this is not a smart route. It's fine. It is. It is just one of those where I'm like, oh, I'm not going the way I want to be going. My inventory. My in why do I keep saying inventory? Because my inventory's full. That's why. Those are the two things on my mind right now. Inventory management and stamina management. Oh, okay. I went in a loop. Loopy loop. Loopy loop. Um, I was going to say that in terms of the randomizer versus the actual, like, like, I guess what is randomized in the sense of, like, like for the anyone who... The requests that yeah. you get. Okay. So, um, every, every rush mode you're going to have four requests that come in from the four NPCs. They pick different requests from a couple different pools to really, I wouldn't say deliberately mess you up, but that's just me being, you know, a salty randomizer player. The, the rando works against you. It's like each one's kind of a different challenge. Yeah. Like Mochi always asks for like three different kinds of plorts and Ogden always asks for different like fruit and veggie items. Yeah. So it gets you to, it really tests your kind of game knowledge of knowing, just seeing the requests and knowing where to go to get those things, how to route it. <laughs> so it really rewards you for knowing and understanding the game world, which is fantastic. Bad, I'll take it. Yeah, um, so Nora usually, Nora kind of, uh, who is the first one, we, first requests we get, she usually wants 
some sort of fruit and veggies. Maybe she wants some florts. Sometimes she wants some slimes, but it's all usually early game stuff. Um, but as you progress through, you start to get more tough requests. You can be, um, I've had ones where I get a pond. Um, I love the sound they make so much. Um, I've had ones where Ogden wanted, he wanted both a silver parsnip and a prickly pear, which are the two fruits and veggies that you get from the glass desert. So that means you not only have to get out to the glass desert, you have to have uh, progressed enough to have gotten oasis is open that you can hope that a prickly pear or a parsnip will drop in there or sometimes you get lucky as i did and you break open a box and that will have sometimes the biome uh fruits or veggies in it which is really nice that was a very happy coincidence <laughs> So I think it's interesting that like I don't know like I'm just it's it's very fascinating to watch like all the slimes and then like collecting the slimes and then like using the resources to the slimes it's really fascinating to watch. Mhm. Mm and the lore on the game is actually like really cute. There's an entire slimepedia um like slime encyclopedia that tells you what the plorts are used for in in the world so i think um pink plorts are used for basically everything they're like your kind of catch all um these boom plorts would be used for making explosives i think honey plorts you know that's used for making like sweeteners and that kind of stuff it's it's very very cute it's one of those where you're kind of going oh my god this is way too well thought out yeah they've got a ton of world building like it's very surprisingly despite very cartoony style it's really easy to kind of get lost in this game it's very i nice. have spent i have literally spent so many hours on the far far range and already so many hours in slime rancher 2. it's fantastic you want a nice cozy time? I 100% suggest it. But, yeah. I know these ones in front of us uh, are pretty cute. They, I call them the UFO ones. Um, Pardon the which head. ones? The ones that are in front of us right now, the UFO <laughs> slimes. These are I would say my second favorite, but they're just so cute. They and are. like, yeah. But I definitely would say like. This game alone, I could see how it's like a comfy, cozy game to be in bed with, you know, to sit yeah. there like on a handheld and enjoy your time. And um, but... it is controller supported. OK, I just I play KBM because I started playing KBM and that I have a hard time switching. <laughs> I can confirm it is excellent on the Steam Deck. I tried to play it on the Steam Deck and my hands were like, I, I can't I can't do this. Not that it, that, that's a me thing. That is 100% a me thing. Uh, I have one friend who plays m almost exclusively with controller and she loves Slime Rancher too. I'm trying to drag her into rush mode. Ink. Eat and poop. <laughs> Uh, I was going to say, what is the differences between Slime Rancher, the first one, and then the second one? Like, what did they introduce in the second one? Um, they, they progressed the story. So our character, uh, Beatrix Lebeau, um, I realize that's the first time I've said that, um, is, has, uh, moved out to Rainbow Isles. I am forgetting what the name of the new place but there's a mystery to solve there. Um, and they've introduced new slimes mostly, but the loop is all the same. It's still in um, early access. 
So they're coming out with new stuff quite regularly. I think we're due for an update sometime soon. I'm hoping so. The last one introduced an entirely new biome. Um, they've been working very, very, very hard to continue on with this. It's and it's it's so very good. I guess you guys can have these. <laughs> you start to get to this point where it's like, okay, a lot of this is uh, handled. I'm just waiting for 45 seconds-ish to pass in game, because I'm nearly certain that it's noon that the requests come up now. This has been something J.O. and I were talking about last night of it, do, do they come up at a certain interval how, how how does it come up i'm pretty certain they come up at noon i could be wrong about that i have been wrong before so we're gonna wait this 15 seconds and i hate it uh, waiting <laughs> okay. And waiting. Okay. And waiting. And waiting. Ha! And waiting. <laughs> okay. Oh, we've got that. Okay. So that's going to give me actually a decent time to try and grab some puddle boys. I love the sound design on this game. It's so good. Yeah. I'm like in such a good vibe. Like that's why I'm, I'm just enjoying the, like, I don't know, the show. <laughs> I'm just sitting here it, just it vibing. Is, it is just such a cozy game. <laughs> I, I can't think of a better place to put my teleporters However, I walk through them like that way too often, so I've got to find a better way to do that. Big same. Now, I mean, if Jay. you guys just want to stand there. <laughs> I was going to say, now, J.O., now, what is it about, like, Slime Rancher do you love? I mean, what's not to love? I'm absolutely in love with the art design. I think we've mentioned at least half a dozen times how great the sound design is. Yeah. Um, I think rush mode being built in rather than being a mod was just... It, it was a master stroke because mm -hmm. a lot of times one of my least favorite things about a really great immersive game is you spend all of this time kind of learning the lore, where everything is, how to get everything well, just in time for it to all be over. Mm -hmm. And... Rush mode makes it so that you're rewarded for having that knowledge, that lore. You still get to find ways to use it in new ways. Um, and for practical reasons, rush mode is great because it's a very predictable amount of time. So yeah. you know if you've got time for a run or not. It's It winds up being about two hours. So it's it's just a great, yeah, nice compartmentalized time. Hour 50, I think, is usually about how long they go for if you get all four requests. It's just got such a great balance between kind of the time pressure that really makes you want to go fast, but it still keeps that cozy vibe the whole time. Mm hmm Or at no point do you feel like tense and stressed while you're doing it. So I can even relax with some rush mode, and I feel like that's just something really unique you don't see in a lot of places. Mm-hmm. I will definitely say that the built in kind of speed run rush mode has been one of the one of the things that's drawn me uh, for games as a new runner. Um, it just makes it easier. <laughs> like I love uh, Little Gator Game is another one that I've done runs for and that having the built in speed run mode was fantastic. 
Also, shoutouts to the story. Admittedly, the story really choked me up. Um, in the in the casual game, basically you're following the the trail of notes and stuff left by the person who left you the ranch, and a lot of it sort of reflects the story of Beatrice herself. It's a story about finding yourself out in the universe and things like that, and the choices that you have to make. It, it just winds up being very sweet and crazy when you just get lost. I have a red echo in my inventory. I always forget about those. Yeah, they just kind of float around. I didn't open the door. You can do it. I know. I'm just, I'm frankly being lazy. <laughs> a lot of the breaking the movement tech in this is that the jetpack only gives you a little bit of vertical height, but when you've got the full energy, you can horizontally get a really far away. So you can climb mm -hmm. up a lot of places by doing a series of jetpack bursts that take you like a really far way across and just a little bit higher each time until you can climb a lot of the geometry in ways that I imagine the developers didn't anticipate at first, but it was really awfully cool of them to just kind of leave in once it became really obvious that you could get around most of the world in unexpected ways. Especially uh, in two, like you can tell in this one, I'm not certain if they kind of, went, when everything was built, if they were thinking, you know, how much they were, how much stuff was going to be able to be broken. But in two, you can really tell that they were like, oh, okay, we see how people did this. We're going to work with that because I've been jetpacking around with as much of the upgrades as I can. And you can, you can get some weird places and there are treasure pods hidden hidden in so many weird places. It's, I really like that. It kind of reminded me what they did with Super Mario Odyssey there. Where a lot of times mm -hmm. you're like, hey, I'm going to get this weird place. I bet they didn't ever think I'd get. And you get there and there's a big pile of coins. And yeah. they're just like, yeah, we knew you could. We know about you people who like to play games fast. We're wise to your tricks. <laughs> yeah, we are on to you. Thank you for the free puddle port. Yeah, getting the slimes and the ports was very good. That's nice. Well, in the meantime, I can always remind everybody about, you know, what's going to be upcoming with our schedule. We do have our Frame Patels, uh, the Flame Patels event that's going to be kicking off on this Sunday on August 13th, and it will be running through August 20th. And if you want to check out the schedule, you can always go to gamesonclick.com to find out more. Also, I definitely am excited that with the Frame Patels event coming up, there's a lot of great, like, I don't know, the, the games are really good. But oh, also, the games like, the list runners for really good. looks amazing. I yeah. am so hyped. Me too. I, 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 unfortunately, I can't, like, be there this time around. But to be honest with you, it's going to be nice to just be like watching and just participate. Well, in sometimes that you also, you know, you need the self care of not not doing the event yourself. Yeah. You can just enjoy <laughs> the event. Yeah, exactly. And, and I'm, it's it, there's things where it's like I have other events I'm going to and it's going mm -hmm. to get to a point where it's like, well, and then also there's other like plans coming ahead. So, yeah, like it's just kind of more of a just maintaining your level of what you can or cannot do kind of thing. Because, like, I know for me, like, I love Frost Patels. Frost Patels was a ton of fun. Um, and playing Patels last year was a ton of fun. But at the same time, it's just, it would be nice to just sit and watch. Mm-hmm. I will, uh, I am on the mod team for FF. Aww. Which I'm very excited for. Are you? Oh, that's yeah. amazing to hear. Uh, it's, it's been really... I joined the FF community and that's it's what's given me, frankly, a lot of the confidence to actively get into speedrunning. And um, 
when when the volunteer submissions went out, I was like, you know what? This community is legit one of the most fantastic communities I have come across in a while. I gotta throw my hat in for this. Yeah. Okay, I need to... I have been very rude. You guys. I'm sorry. Here you go. Eat and poop. Circle of life. Poop is good. Yeah, circle poop is of good life. for you. Yep. Yeah, poop is good for you. <laughs> Don't be afraid of the poo. Don't be afraid of the poo. We are poo farmers. Yep. Literally. Go. That's now good. Get. Uh, why don't I have any dervishes? My mouse is dying. Too much gaming. Yeah, we gaming. Legit. I um, I know for me that like. Uh, seeing all this, like, I I'm wondering of the amount of poo. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of want, like, a poop emoji or something. <laughs> I don't know, is there a- hold on, let me see if I can do this. I'm s I actually- I- you know what, I might need to, like, put in a port emote or something. Oh, the one time Poop. pop time doesn't deliver. I know. <laughs> I'm so, kind uh, of surprised. I am admittedly a little shocked. Yeah. So for anyone watching on YouTube, uh, pop time is something that you can have on Twitch. And it's a really, really cool like way to that? see uh, a lot of cute emotes. Pop time is the best time, though. That bonus. You just need the puddle and fire bonuses now? Uh, crystal as well. They're just taking their time in the cave. That's what they do. I swear those ones have a have a slower feeding cycle than other slimes. I think they must. I don't it's... know if they do, but I feel it in my soul, so I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> I could get that. And the fires are going. I will go out to um, the puddles in a second and see. And my little bees are working as hard as I can. I love all the slimes and the, the poopy modes. I appreciate you all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. Kind of surprised uh how many fire fire plorts we've been able to get i got distracted by the stars um uh, understandable uh, i have gotten distracted by the stars in this game many times you guys give me a blush please it's really cute when you blush you just oh, got to get a fifth one in there actually and then, yeah and then that's, put it that's into the a smart idea seat. I'm just gonna put a second uh, pond in. Oh. Well, now you make That's me sound I... like a monster. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I've been um, trying to get my puddle puddles going recently. Where is some more puddles? Uh, we'll check out here. Is by having multiple. Hey, give me the port gonna be like that. Cars also hate water, so it's always very funny to me when they hop into water. Yeah, they'll just they'll just path to you regardless of the fact yeah. that you're somewhere they can't really go. So you can just kind of stand in the water and they go bye bye. Oh, there's no puddles over there, Ophelia. Why are you checking? You know that, that there's you, no that puddles over there. Scared me for a second. I was like, what is she doing? No. <laughs> Um, 
check. Yeah, I'll check over here and then I can think of one other place that I can easily grab puddles if they've spawned. Got about 10 minutes left. Were you about to get the new music? Uh, no, that's at about three minutes, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, I left a treasure pod. The I music starts to... Sp Sorry, Rick, oh, what ahead. was that? No, no, the music? The music starts to uh, speed up and get a little anxiety inducing right at the end of the run. Oh, really? Uh, it's, it's like you've only got three minutes left. Hurry up. <laughs> That's actually interesting. Do you ever actually feel that? Because you know everything is like in its right spot. Oh no, I still I, I still have anxiety every single time. The music affects me so much. <laughs> I'm always just like, yeah, no, this is this is not a fun time for me. I'm I'm scared. Extremely powerful sound design. That's the thing. It's so good. But I it is it I, is nice when you're just wrapping up the final things. Mm-hmm. Before I started using drones, it was even scarier because I'd be running around with nothing in my inventory other than ports and just running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between my corrals and yeah, just the, feeding uh, them into the market. Yeah. And that that is some pure anxiety. <laughs> okay, one more. Take it. Means we'll get a blush. <gasps> Yay! I want to see that. Right. My stamina's fine. Yeah, no, puddle slimes are legit my favorite. They are just so cute. The fact that they kind of like spread out. Um, you have to put them in the pond. If you don't, they evaporate. Don't be terrible. Don't let your puddle slimes evaporate. I've had it happen. It was very traumatic. Also worth noting, in the base game, every different type of slime has an object, like a sort of yes. toy, that if it's in their enclosure with them, makes them a lot more calm and happy. For the puddle slimes, it's a giant rubber ducky. So cute. Actually, um, here, let's... See? There it is. There it is. <laughs> oh. So cute. And then as soon as you take them out, it's like, okay, okay, we, we don't we don't need to be so shy anymore. Oh, um, I love it. J.O., do you remember if we get the rubber ducky for free down in the area? In the dog? Where, yeah. I don't know if it's there in rush mode. Let's go check. I was gonna say, but if we're if we're just waiting on the last couple slimes to do their thing, yeah, that's kind of where I'm right at. Here. I'm gonna be. I'm all... <gasps> it's there. It's there. You can have that. Look at it. Love. It. See, he's so happy. He has a rubber oh, ducky. Oh, I want a rubber ducky. I know it's so cute. That is so. Okay, cute. that made me really happy. That is. That was. It, it, this game is loving you right now. I'm not not knocking on wood, but. Yeah, that was no, adorable. No, it's, it's one of those games where you're like, it can't be this cute, and then it is. Yeah, well, no, I mean, like, the, the, uh, what was I going to say? I like that the RNG in the game is being nice today, is what I mean by that. Yes, I had, I, as I said earlier, I had some very, very smelly runs uh, as I was trying to practice today. Yeah. So I'm very happy that I might be able to get the fire port bonus. Sir. B button. That was rude. He got the way. Well, B booty got in my way. B booty. Now, how many more fire do you think you need? It's right at the top. I'd say like maybe, maybe three or four. Let's see. And with the, like these. six minutes left, you might also get lucky oh. and get one more cycle on them. I'll probably get one. I'll probably be able to get the fire bonus. I'm not certain about the. Uh... Yeah, that'll be like 
one more. Crystals are very close. You might be able to just go out to the quarry or something and scoop up the remaining ones. Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, I will I will say this. I love how the game gave the slimes personality. Like mm -hmm. the whole blushing and then the rubber ducky and then, you know. Uh, the mean? tabby slimes will boop you. They will come oh. up and they will boop you on the nose. Oh, my God. Okay, they, they're they my favorite for that reason. <laughs> that is so cute. That's why a lot of the times when we've been near the tabby one, they kind of like jump at you a little bit. They're trying to boop me on the nose. Oh. It was apparently one of the things they had a lot of not issues with the physics, but it was one of the things they worked really hard on the physics and why uh, there really isn't a multiplayer for this. Is There's just a lot of physics and actors and jiggly funness going on. I Look, oh, we could wow, have I... multiplayer or we could have tabby slimes that boop your nose and we Can't made the right both. choice. We made mm -hmm. the right choice, all I'm saying. Yeah. No, we 100% made the right choice. Oh, I physically walked out to a place that I have like two teleporters by. <laughs> That's okay. You're here now. Yep. Yeah. It's okay. Only took about 90 seconds. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that honestly... 90 seconds, I could have been ranching. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Give me some poopies. Poop. Poopies. We love the poops. As long as that sounds. <laughs> I had a feeling we were going to get some tar. This is so funny. This Her. is so cute. That little last minute chaos. No big deal. Yeah. Please? Hungy? It looks like if you wind up getting five or six, you're probably okay there. Oh, yeah. I think I'd say that that's a good amount. I'm going to keep a close eye on my health. I really don't want to pass out. Yeah. It's kind of spicy in here. Yeah. It's, it's a little spicy. It's a little spicy meatball. I'm going to grab you. Oh. Music sped up. Okay, we're gonna run uh, on home. Yeah, and it gets faster in the last minute too. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> it really does. Like it, even it's though just, it's, it's set up, it's not that. It's you have a teleporter nice. back this way. Yeah. Oh yeah, you put one all the way back there. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's still a really good track, but when you're used to it being so calm and chill, just taking it up even the tiniest bit is like, mmm. Well, you've like had that. nearly two hours with the same cadence where you just suddenly kick up a bit. Kind of lights a fire under you. Yes. Oh, exactly enough. Gorgeous. All right, hurry, hurry, go check the fires. fires. Oh yeah, should be good. Come on, give me that. Uh, so, um, I was showing J.O. this last night and I did a very, very silly thing right at the end because I had like 10 seconds left over. And right at the end, I was like, oh, I just want to run out the clock and I jumped into the slime sea. And then that cost <laughs> you 10% of your final score. It did. It was not a smart choice. <laughs> you were like in the air when you suddenly realized like the yeah, gravity of the just... situation. Absolutely. I felt the gravity, and that was what happened. <laughs> I guess Did the music so. just get more because of the minute mark? Yep. <laughs> I love it. Did you get all of your ports? I did. Oh, I didn't you got get all, all the, the bonuses. Port. I didn't get all the port bonuses. What one are you I missing? I didn't get puddle bonus. 
Yeah. Which is my biggest issue. That's the way I get it, time. is I get... Oh, how far are you from the puddle bonus? Oh, definitely not six. Oh. Yeah, that's why I usually try to get puddles on day one, because it's just kind of a slow burn. <laughs> like, it's probably not a burn, because they're puddles, but... Yeah. So close. That's basically... This is this is what my PD is starting to look at look like right now. Yeah. With, uh, with the puddles oh, they, always this chilling could do out. It. This could PB. Oh, probably. Time. We'll yep, that is time. time. Sorry. So our final score, that is not a PB, but that's still a good score. I got a better port bonus than I usually do. I'll take it. But yeah, is actually, that is Slime Ranger Rush Mode. That's really cool. Yeah, because um, I was going to say, okay, so I'm looking at the stats right now. Um, <laughs> so with Rush Mode and being able to do everything like I see right here, um, I just find it fascinating. Okay, so you got more bonuses this time around. But what was I your got, PB like? Uh, my PB, I think I got, I don't know how I have a 90% bonus. I don't understand how that math is working out because I got the same amount of port bonuses acquired in my PB and I think I had an 81% port bonus. Um actually, no, I, I think don't, it might I include it. I think it might include your progress towards any goals for the oh, ones you don't have. Oh, that could be it. That could be it. Um I think on my PB my most profitable plorts were tangles and dervishes. And I got those on day two. So those were my big money makers throughout the entire run. Um, I also feel like I set that one up better where I had drones auto feeding and auto collecting into the market link with the Tangle and Dervishes ones. And that's kind of one of the big things with this is figuring out where the best place to automate. Uh, so you don't have to mentally go okay what do i do here because you can only put down two drones per area in your ranch okay. so like that the the undergrowth the cave the kind of ranch general you can only have two drones for that so you've got okay. to find a good way to kind of balance all of that i think my final score pb is 168 something i have the screenshot saved on my laptop i just <laughs> have i don't have that right here <laughs> yeah well thank you for actually no i i can actually look that up i posted it today so it was like... oh okay well i was gonna say well thank you for explaining that because yeah i was trying to understand like i know that it's the rush mode and i know like how it works it was just more like trying to understand what like made the speed mm -hmm. run part of it work um mm -hmm. But I definitely want to say that I really do appreciate you being on the show. I like GG's on both Calico as well as Slime Rancher. But it was really fun to just see like these really chill games that were super ultra adorable. And I actually mm -hmm. really appreciate both of you being on the show. And it was a nice, good, comfy time. It was like a it, this was like a show where it's like after a long week, this was great. And so this, this I was a, this was a comfy it. time. Yeah. And I think this is a great show before the Flay Patels that's going to be mm. happening this Sunday. So I definitely want to say um, thank you again. And uh, was there any like for anyone new who came by? Was there anyone that you wanted to shout out for or um, like want to say about I, the community? Personally, I would love to shout out the Frame Fatale community. Um, as Rue just said, we have we have the uh, Flame Fatales coming up as of this weekend. It's a wonderful community. Um, if you are a woman in gaming and interested, it's a fantastic time and just fantastic supportive people over there. Um, for myself, I am Clockwork Ophelia. You can find me on Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter. I refuse to call it anything else uh, under <laughs> all of the same name. <laughs> um, we do lots of cozy, comfy stuff like this over on my channel. Um, we also do Breath of the Wild bingo. And um, I'm there's a couple other runs I'm going to be picking up sometime soon. 
Well, awesome. I also um, we're going to be doing a Resident Evil marathon Ooh. after Frame Patel. So if you're interested in that, come join. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, well, definitely anyone who is uh, curious, you could definitely always follow um, either through the messages in the chat with the pin or, um, you know, there's a lot of clicky links that you could find the uh, Twitch and check out Clockwork Ophelia. Um, Jo, was there anything you would like to say before we head on out? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first thing I want to do is shout out the SRC Slime Rancher community. Uh, you'll actually see a link to them up in the pin. They've actually got a fantastic amount of resources. If you want to get started in this run, I learned a lot of the kind of core tech that helps me through it just from the SRC resources. So that's great. Um, I also want to shout out Hotfix and the Games Done Quick community. Like this whole place is Aww. a whole dang vibe. It's mm -hmm. it, it's a really great way to spend weeknights and weekends. Um, and most of all, shout outs to chat. You're the reason we're all here. Um, chat, you're cute. It, we love it, you. Yeah, you are cute. You're very cute, chat. Thank you. Um, as for me, I'm I'm Jo. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Jo underscore exe. Um, I play a lot of randomizers, do a lot of crowd control, and I I develop a lot of game adjacent things. Um, right now, I'm making something that uh, connects VTube Studio and crowd control in some neat ways. So if you're a VTuber that does crowd control, you might want to check that out. And one of the mm -hmm. funner things I've been doing lately is I put together a script to attach a uh, entry level DJ mixer to Katamari so I can kind of like spin the platters to move the Katamari. Um, it was originally made as a challenge run because I thought it'd be clunky, but it's actually weirdly intuitive and a crazy amount of fun. So if that sounds like your kind of vibe, come check me out. Oh, well, I. Uh... That is it for the show. I want to thank everyone who was involved. Thank you, uh, GDQ crew, and thank you both for being on the show. Uh, it was wonderful. And thank you, chat, and being all, everyone being a GDQ and cutiful in my heart. Um, <laughs> so I do want to say just one thing before we head on out. Make sure to tune in tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern for a showcase of speedruns of the members from the Frame Fatales community to preview Flame Fatales starting on Sunday. Alrighty, everybody. I am done, and this is the end of Legally Cute, but you can always find more of the episodes on YouTube, as well as I will be back in two weeks from now. And you all have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful night.